Did you ever advocate for any villains we didn't see? Like, Because there were all those rumors, as you well know, in that time that Warner Brothers was pushing Leonardo to play the Riddler in Dark Knight Rises, what <laughs> became Dark Knight Rises. Do you remember those conversations, or did you have a horse in that race saying, like, Hugo Strange or Penguin or Riddler? Like, did that ever get to a point where you, where you felt strongly about a villain? Yeah, we, that we had it? these conversations. Um, Bane came out of a conversation with David and Chris. I was unsure about that um, at the story stage, but sort of, you know, really kind of, look, it's, it's backseat driving, right? You're looking at it. I think Chris understood that he didn't want to go, you know, that what we had done with, and what Heath had done with that character, you didn't want to go anywhere near it. I, I sort of started to play with ideas about the Riddler and what, what could be done with that character, but it did feel like it was close enough to the space of what we'd done with Heath that you, you really needed Right. To, to, to sort of, and again, there's another genre shift there, right? And I think one of the things I was excited about with The Dark Knight Rises was, okay, if you did this, you know, this kind of urbane crime drama for the second film, the third one was, uh, and, and we sort of find ourselves back in the space, it was a, a post-apocalyptic film. Right. That was what I was excited about with that film, was right. the idea that you'd sort of go there, right? And Batman, it's always about, you know, the, the, Batman always saves the day, the city always survives, and there have been some examples in the comic books where they'd just kind of gone for it a little bit. And I thought, well, why can't we do that with a movie? Why can't we destroy Gotham and see what happens afterwards? In your head canon, after that last shot, and I love the ending of Dark Knight Rises, how soon does John Blake pick up the mantle? Does he get into that bat costume pretty quickly? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's a fun one. I, no, I think, I think there's always a need, the, the idea there being that, that, you know, and look, you can talk about the politics of Batman. It's a, that's a complicated, complicated question. But that idea in that universe, that there's a need for for a hero, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but yeah, in my imagination, maybe maybe it takes a, takes a, a little bit of a moment to kind of figure out exactly, or waits waits for the first clear evidence that that maybe the police aren't going to be able to handle something by themselves, and then and then right. takes up the mantle reluctantly. We've always liked the idea of Batman sure. as a kind of a, a reluctant hero. 